for today's video, I am going to be using a UK size 12 dress form. We're going to start off by taking our back high point to waist measurement. We're going to place our measuring tape at the high point shoulder. We're going to take that down to the waist area. Whatever the measurement, we need to write that down. Next, we need to take our center back to waist measurement. We need to take our front high point shoulder to waist measurement. We take our center front neck to waist measurement, followed by the distance between our apex points. We need to take our shoulder to apex point measurement followed by our bust measurement, making sure our measuring tape is around the fullest part of the bust area. Then we proceed to the waist area. We take our measurement, followed by a cross shoulder measurement, and then our shoulder seam length, and that will be all for our measurements. So these are the tools that we are going to be using today. Do not worry if you don't have everything available. I'm just going to show you the tools that I use to make my pattern cutting much easier. So with me here, I have the L square ruler. I have the pattern master. I have a metal ruler. I have a pencil. I have my measuring tape, my cello tape, tracing wheel, paper scissors, and of course, my pattern paper. We're going to start off by drawing a vertical line and that will serve as our back body's length. So next we're going to mark in our bust line and the measurement for that is 10 inches from our shoulder line. We're going to square that and that will serve as our bust line. Along the bust line, we're going to mark in a quarter of our bust measurement. After taking down a quarter of our bust measurement, we need to subtract 0 0.5 centimeters from that measurement. And the reason why we do this is because the back and the front of a human body is different. We tend to subtract from the back because the back is flat and we tend to add to the front because of the bust to create more room for the bust. Now we are going to square a line and that will serve as our waistline. You need to mark in a quarter of our waist measurement. And like we did before, we're going to subtract 0 0.5 centimeter from our waist measurement. Next, we are going to be adding to our waistline measurement, our back dot measurement. And for my back dot measurement, I am going to be adding 1.5 inches and that will serve as my back dot measurement. Next, I will be joining the waist and the bust line Next, we need to establish where to place our back dots. And by doing that, we need to look for our apex point. My apex point is 8 inches, and I'm going to be dividing that by 2, and that will give me 4 inches. So I'm marking 4 inches on my bust line, and mark in 4 inches on my waistline. Join both lines together, and that will serve as our dot position. So like I said before, my dot measurement is 1.5 inches. So what I'm going to do next is to mark half of that measurement on each side of the dot line, like so. And now I am going to connect all points to the bust line. So now the lower part of our back bodies is done, now we need to concentrate on the upper part 
of our back bodies. To start off the upper part of the back bodies, what we need is our shoulder measurement. My shoulder measurement is 15 inches. I will be dividing that by two and that will give me 7.5 inches. I'll mark that down on the shoulder line. That will serve as my shoulder. So next I am going to draw a line exactly 1.5 inches from our shoulder point and that will serve as our shoulder slope. Next we need to draw in our shoulder length. My shoulder length is 5 inches so I'm going to place my ruler exactly 5 inches on the shoulder slope point like so. I'm going to rotate that drawing a line from my shoulder slope point to my shoulder line and with that that will create my shoulder length. Next we need to establish the neck position and to achieve that we need our center back to waist measurement. Mine is 16 and a half inches so I'm going to mark that down. Then create a curve which is going to form as our neckline. So I'm just going to take my pattern master and draw in the neck shape. But you really don't need this if you don't have um, a pattern master, you really don't have to worry about it. You can get alternatives like a French curve or similar um, ruler that can give, you know, a perfect shape when it comes to curves. Next, we need to mark in the across back position. So to get that, I normally measure five inches from the shoulder downwards and I square a line and that will serve as my across back position or across back line. Then I'll mark that in like so. Next, we take our pattern master or a French curve, whatever you're using as your curve line ruler. So what we need to do is to establish our back arm hole. And again, I am going to be using my pattern master. You can use your French curve as long as it gives you a curve line, you're good to go. So if you notice, there's a bump around the across back area. We can't just go ahead to cut out our pattern. So what we need to do is to create a dot on that part. I place my ruler on the across back line. On each side of that line, I'll take away 0.5 centimeters. Then I'm going to measure my shoulder length and that is five inches. I'm going to divide that into two and that will give me halfway of the shoulder and that is 2.5 inches and i'll move over to the across back line i'm marking five inches join both lines together so i'm going to go ahead to create my dots joining all points together. You can also move your dot to your shoulders. All you need to do is add half an inch to your shoulder line and that will create your shoulder dots. So now we are done. We are finally done drafting our back bodies. All we need to do is just to label that pattern so we don't get it mixed up. Remember, we still have the front bodies to draft. And don't forget to um, click on the next video for the front bodies. We need to throw in those lines, especially the waistline. We need to give it a little bit of curve. The reason being is simply because the human body is not on a perfect straight line. We've got curves, we've got bends, so we need to remember when drafting our patterns, be as realistic as possible by introducing curves, 
so that we can have a proper fit and this garment sit properly on our bodies. So when that is done, we are officially done with our back bodies. Now we need to move over to the front bodies. So make sure you click on the next video, which is a part two on how to draft a front bodies. In the meantime, bye for now and I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos.